There are no perfectly rigid structures. This can be seen with aircraft in particular. If planes are to fly safely, elasticity is a vital consideration. The science of aeroelasticity is dedicated to discovering the best ways to achieve that. Ferro Anderson wants to get a closer look at the topic. Everyone's heard of aerodynamics, but aeroelasticity? This man knows all about it. Hello, Jens Nitscher. So what is aeroelasticity? Aeroelasticity is about the interaction between moving air and structures. Take, for example, planes like this one. If you look at the wings, you can see that they're tilted downward right now, but soon, when we're flying, perhaps that will change. Then let's take off. Ferro Andersen and Jens Nitscher want to see how the air current's force changes the aircraft's shape. They observe this in a simple experiment. We're now going to demonstrate the elasticity of the wings. We'll use this strip of green tape to mark the level of the wing. This line serves as a reference. Even as the plane takes off, the wings already begin to bend up noticeably. Final altitude is reached after four minutes of flying time. When I now look out, I can clearly see that the wing is bending upwards to about this level. Normally passengers don't notice it, but is that really okay? That's absolutely normal. A wing like this is a soft elastic structure. It's a lightweight construction and as such it's very flexible. The wings have to carry the entire weight of the aircraft and bend up to a corresponding degree. So it has to bend. Anything else would be worrying. This is the ideal case. How this is achieved and how the force of moving air affects planes are researched at DLR's Institute of Aeroelasticity in Göttingen. Among their methods are painstaking, large-scale experiments like this one. The Institute in Göttingen is an international leader in this field. They've been investigating aeroelasticity here since the 1920s. Back then, the research was already pioneering and innovative, and it still is today. The foundations were laid then for what is now being pursued with the latest technology. Researchers in Göttingen are developing state-of-the-art software to simulate flights realistically. Supercomputers help to calculate precisely how aircraft components react to different loads. Ferro Anderson wants to take a closer look at how that works in Göttingen. He meets Virginie Chenot in the classroom for a lecture. Directed by Laurence Tichy, about 100 scientists and students are carrying out research at the Institute of Aeroelasticity in Göttingen. So from theory to practice. That's right, with the aircraft as a model. The air is dynamic, that means up in the sky there's always wind. To ensure that an aircraft can withstand that, a lot of testing and calculation takes place first. What's going on here? Every structure oscillates in the wind and each structure oscillates differently. We're doing an oscillation experiment here. And with these motion sensors we can identify the oscillations and characterize them in order to figure out how the aircraft responds. That's what we want to measure with these flights. Can what's here in miniature be extrapolated to large airplanes? This is only to demonstrate what happens, but naturally we also measure it on a one-to-one -one scale in the actual aircraft. Gusts of wind place especially large stresses on aircraft. Sudden turbulence delivers the equivalent of blows to the plane. The aircraft must be able to handle them. Ideally, the elasticity of the plane can be used to increase passenger flying comfort with targeted precision. What's the worst thing that could happen to a plane up there? The worst would be if the oscillations intensify and keep getting larger and larger. Is that what's called flutter? Yes, exactly. Those are oscillations that can't be reduced. 
When oscillations are fanned by air currents, they can keep on going until the structure finally fails. An impressive example of this is the collapse of the Tacoma Narrows Bridge in 1940, which was caused by strong winds. Oscillation build-up and flutter in aircraft need to be prevented, and that's what aeroelasticity engineers do. Jens Nitscher has been working at the Göttingen Institute of Aeroelasticity for 12 years. Ferro Andersen is following him as he sets up an experiment. What's that? Here we see the computer model, the inner load-bearing structure of a wing. The computer allows researchers to simulate the behavior of the wings. But how precise are these models? To find out, researchers make wing models oscillate in the lab. They then use a laser beam to measure how the structure reacts. The natural frequencies of this structure are always of interest to us. That's what we're measuring here. The aim is to get these frequencies to harmonize precisely with the computer model. Turning theory into practice. It's important to us that we have a computer model and that this model conforms to reality as exactly as possible. We do this by experimenting and using experimental data to fine-tune and then measure again. But how do the wings react to aerodynamic forces? The researchers want to test that in a wind tunnel. OK, that was the structural behavior. What's next? Now we're going to put together structural dynamics and aerodynamics to create genuine aeroelasticity. In the wind tunnel, we can observe how the wing changes shape. At a speed of 50 meters per second, the wind hits the wing. The tip can bend up to as much as 30% of its wingspan. In a real passenger plane, that would correspond to several meters. Can a plane's wing break? No, it can't actually, because many safety systems are built in. The distortion in the wind is elastic. If the wind speed decreases, the wing bends back to where it was. It's just like Ferro and Jens's test flight. During landing, the wing sinks back to where it started at the beginning. We've seen how important aeroelasticity engineers' work is. Would an aircraft actually fly without you guys? Maybe it would fly, but we ensure that it won't flutter and works well, even when it's getting a battering from extreme gusts of wind. Aeroelasticity engineers are the people who make sure you fly safely.